Hello learners, this is Cell Tuts and we are learning the beginner course of Vagrant. In this video, we will learn about sync folder in Vagrant file. So, Vagrant provides a very important feature and that feature is called sync folder. So, we will first understand what this sync folder means. So, suppose there is a host machine and in our case, we are using a host machine as Windows. That is, this is the main machine or this is the host machine in which you are working. So in our case, it is Windows machine. And the next one is the virtual machine. So the machine that we are trying to use inside our host machine. So using what Vagrant or using virtual box, we are creating a new machine inside our host machine. And that new machine is called the virtual machine. So virtual machine can be made by different uh, softwares like using VMware or VirtualBox. In this course, we are, we are using virtual machine by using Vagrant. So in this scenario, the host machine contains the virtual machine and a single host machine can contain virtual, uh, multiple virtual machines. Inside our host machine, there is a folder. So this folder denotes that the folder is inside our host machine. And there is a folder inside our virtual machine. So this folder is inside our virtual machine. So what this sync folder means that there is a link between these two folders. So the folder in the host machine is linked directly to the folder inside the virtual machine. That means if we put anything inside this folder, then that will be visible inside our virtual machine folder. Or if we put anything inside our virtual machine folder, then that will be visible to in our host machine folder. So you can see that this is a very important feature like often we need to transfer some files through our host machine to virtual machine. So without using any third party tool like WinSCP or file transfer or, uni or using any SSH tool, we can directly put the file inside this folder of the host machine and that will be available inside our virtual machine. The most important use case is suppose we want to develop our uh, uh, suppose we want to make our development environment in Linux, but we want to use sublime text. So we are using uh, the Linux environment, which has no GUI means there is no graphical user interface. But in our Windows machine, there is graphical user interface. So we can install sublime in our host machine and put the code file or the source file in this folder. So if you put the source file in this folder inside the host machine folder then we can run this uh, server or run this program inside our virtual machine but we can do the coding in our sublime text so it is uh, this sync folder concept is very much important because it makes a link between the host machine and the virtual machine so how to do the setting for a sync folder so we'll see that we have learned about Vagrant file, which contains all the configuration about our virtual machine. So inside the Vagrant file, we can add a new configuration and that new configuration is somewhat like this. It says config my virtual machine VM where sync folder setting is the first thing is the host machine path. That is the Windows machine path. And the second one is the virtual machine path, the path inside the virtual machine. And the third is what is the type of the provider so that at current we are using the provider type as virtual box so we can use the sync folder setting with just a single line of configuration inside our vagrant file so we'll do the configuration inside our vagrant file and we'll see a demo of our sync folder so we'll start our uh, baboon which i use for my development so we'll go inside the d drive and inside d drive will go inside workspace which you have seen in the last uh, video where you we use the vagrant file concept so my centos is vagrant uh, system is inside this folder if i'll see then i can go to the vagrant file and it says we have done an initial configuration that we are using a virtual box of centos 7 so we'll go since it is all, already running or i'll check that it is running or not so we'll try to enter inside it by using Vagrant SSH and it says that the virtual machine is not running. So this time we'll try to start it 
start the because we have already uh, configured our virtual machine once so this time we can just start it by using vagrant up so what the vagrant up will do it will read the file vagrant file and set up our environment so it will not download the things it will not provision something this time because we have already done in the last video so it is booting my virtual machine and again it is doing a port forwarding of ssh where 2222 is the port on host machine and 22 is the port on guest machine so guest machine means my virtual environment or the virtual machine and host means my host machine that is windows machine so the username is vagrant and the method to do ssh is a private key so it is now my system is making up so it has been successfully uh, up means my vagrant system is up and now i can go inside my vagrant system so this way i can see that this is my vagrant system and i am inside my vagrant system so now i want to uh, sync my folder so i'll try to create a new folder mkdir self tuts with the name of self tuts so this is the folder present inside my self tut it i go inside self tut then there is nothing present if i see here then no files are there and nothing is present so i will try to sync this folder to my windows host machine so i'll exit my vagrant and i'll open my vagrant file and i'll do a configuration and the configuration says config dot vm dot sync folder so the first parameter to this is i'll show you the parameter again and the first parameter says the host machine host machine path and the second one is virtual machine path and the third one is the type of provider so the in my host machine i will use the current folder in which my vagrant system is there so i'll say the current path and in my virtual machine i will say home vagrant and self since, uh, since I have created this folder inside my uh, vagrant home path, so it, it says home vagrant self tuts and the type is virtual box. The type of the provider is the virtual box. So, using this uh, single line for the configuration of sync folder, I have synced my current folder in which, in which my vagrant system is there. To the home vagrant cell tuts. So if I put something inside my uh, virtual machine, it will be visible in my host machine. So I have done the setting. So I need to reload my system. So whenever I do a uh, uh, setting change in my vagrant file, I have to reload my system. So I am reloading it. So again, it will see the configuration and it will apply the first. It will do a graceful shutdown. Means it will shut down my system, my vagrant machine. Uh, so that if I'm working on some file and if, if some operations are open, then a graceful shutdown will be there so that no data is lost and nothing happened to my data, which are important to me. Then again, it will check some forwarded port are there or not, and it will clear that it will again uh, set up the SSH configurations and try to reload my system with the new configuration. So this time we'll see that uh, we'll get a sync folder setting also printed out here. This vagrant up or reload takes some time. So let us wait. So my machine is booted up and ready. It is checking for guest configuration. And this time you can see that my mounting shared folder home vagrant self tuts, which is inside my virtual machine, is synced with D workspace CentOS. So if I see my D CentOS workspace 7, which is current, if I'll do a PWD is d workspace center 7 only two files are there okay so i'll go inside my system vagrant ssh uh, so it will take me to my virtual machine i'll do a clear so you can see clearly this time if i see so my self tut folder is there and if i go inside self tut folder i can see the two files so this is a magic pure magic so this two files were present in my host machine but I am able to see it inside my virtual machine using the syncing of my folder concept. So now I'll create a simple folder. Let's say 
vim test dot uh, txt so vim is not present so i'll uh, use touch test dot txt so if i'll exit my system and i'll do a ls i can see my text dot txt so i made a file in my virtual machine and it is visible in my host machine same way suppose if i want to uh, take some folder now suppose i go to my host machine and i want to do some file transfer so i'll go there i'll go to my uh, this aws and i suppose i want to copy this file and i want to put it inside my inside my vagrant machine so i'll go into workspace sent to us and see this was the this is the folder where it is present i'll just do a paste and all those files will be put inside my host machine workspace sent to us folder now if i go there i can see that gimp images are there gimp images folder is there and this folder contains so many files like this blog images website etc this this i'm just showing you a demo and now if i do a vagrant ssh and this will take me to my virtual machine i'll do a clear so that it will be better visible so this time if i'll go inside self that wonder wow gimp images is present so i can go inside gimp images i can see all the files are present so this was all about the sync folder concept it is the most important or the most uh, like feature by developer that without using some extra tool like uh, file transfer or vnscp you can easily sh share data or files uh, between your host machine and virtual machine hope you like my video please subscribe my channel and if you like this video please give us a thumb up thank you happy coding